Emmett Till is dead, uh, why won't he just stay dead? Uh, those words were spoken by Roy Bryant in 1992. He, along with his brother-in-law, had brutally murdered Emmett Till. Um, and he was very troubled that that incident had the exact opposite impact on history that um, they had desired. Um, and so I connected that with a scripture, John 10.10, 10, that says the enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy, uh, which is kind of a weird setup because steal, it's bad, but it happens, get it? Uh, kill, definitely bad. Um, but why? what's the point of destroying after you've killed? And uh, what I realized, there's a powerful truth in that scripture, which says that the stealing and killing is just a buildup in an attempt to destroy the lasting ways of impact that a life can have. And so even though Till's body was killed, uh, the civil rights movement was born. And it feels like Till is very much present in the situations and the heat in the streets right now. Um, and so we have, um, in George Floyd's uh, tragic death, uh, King George, or Big Floyd, as people have taken to calling him, um, it's as if people are trying to press their knees into the neck of the, the lasting legacy, the vital discourse, and the hope that could come from this situation. Um, I've seen many murals that immediately came up to commemorate his life just as rapidly defaced and shredded, and there's so much... Um, just ravage talk around George Floyd. So when Art Yard uh, proposed that we do something apropos to the George Floyd tragedy, uh, we decided to lean into the empathy and compassion of um, his appeal in his, his cry and call out for his mother in his last moments. So we have three mothers, and the idea was to show the beauty, the strength, and care of these women uh, while still maintaining the presence of their sons. So each son is painted over a specific background for a specific reason. Uh, we have Mamie Till Mobley and Emmett Till for historical context. We have George and Larsenia Floyd for current context. And I chose to go with my mother and myself for personal uh, relationship connection. Uh, in Larsenia B. Diamond, we see George lifted out of the pain of the streets and restored to the caring arms of his mother. And he is painted inside of a large sky with all the air that he could care to breathe. Uh, in um, Mamie's Tallahatchie Lift, uh, there's a sign in Tallahatchie that's riddled full of bullets, which is really horrible. Um, that demarks the point where um, Emmett Till was killed and we see Mamie lift Emmett out of that field. And in Eileen Covers It All, we see my mother who migrated from Jamaica to America holding me over a field of stars, indicative of the hopes, wishes, and dreams she may have had coming to this country. She has all on her chest. Um, as she's all Jamaican, I have half and half on mine, um, signifying that I'm mixed race, which is the vantage point into which I view this situation. And through this project, we're asking others to come into this situation, um, disarming the hostile conversation and beginning that conversation from a place of humanity and empathy uh, through the relationship of the mother to child.